Okay, so I've taken and showed you how to migrate an old scene, our old first person example scene into VR. And with Unreal Engine 4 always evolving and always coming out with new versions, it's been really good about including VR stuff. So now it's time to take our first person example map to the next level. So I have my headset set up now so I can actually demonstrate some of this stuff. So let's get in and see what this looks like in VR. We have our nav mesh set up. We have that little button set up. We'll work more with that later. Let's see what this looks like. We go to here, VR preview. Okay, you can see that everything looks nice. I can walk around here and navigate. My button is actually fallen to the ground, which is no good. We'll have to adjust that. See if I can pick it up. Not exactly. So something's not quite right about that yet. We'll work with that. We'll actually make it interactive to do something. Okay, but this is the scene and here we are. Everything's navigatable using VR. Okay, so VR is way superior to first person first person games as far as interactivity and immersing yourself in the project. So I really like using VR now. So there's some different things to consider as you use VR. You saw that our project was pretty easily brought into here, which is great. And of course, you can always start from the VR template and start importing into there instead of the way we did it originally. Now we saw this button wasn't really working. So let's go in and make sure that it is now. It has a collision on it already. Let's go in and edit the blueprint. We don't want it to fall to the ground. So we can take the viewport, go to the viewport, click on this static mesh and then adjust all its settings. I turn simulate physics off so that it doesn't fall to the ground. We'll see if that works. Compile and save. And then in event graph, we left it kind of open like this. So event pickup, that means you can grab it, but it's not doing, it's not attaching to your hand and turning off physics like it normally would. So we're going to make it do something else. This is our button to interact, to do something. So let's just do execute console command. And we'll just type in exit right here. So that that ends the level when we click on it. Let's see if that works. Compile and save. And it also has a script attached to event drop, but if it exits the level, then event drop is never going to be triggered. So we don't need to worry about that right now. Let's see if this works as is. It's obviously staying on the wall still, which is good. You can see my hand changes animation. If I click on it, boom, it exits the level. Okay, so that's a pretty good way to interact with your scene. You can just set up little floating buttons, any kind of object you want. Obviously something better than a cylinder would be good. And uh, you can just run a script right off of that and make things happen. And in the next section, we're gonna be learning about blueprints and scripting. So we'll try to integrate that into our VR scene. After we learn about scripting, we'll take it and add it to this VR scene and show some interactivity in virtual reality.